Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am super excited to share all of the March kits with you guys. It's honestly kind of crazy that we're like releasing March already. I feel like it just turned January but that is what we're doing today. So I just figured I'd quickly show you guys what I keep all of my new stickers in. This has been my system for quite a while and it works really well for me. So as I'm cutting stickers and pulling them for myself, I put them in this disc album that is available in my Etsy shop. Um, I like it because there are so many different pages and so many different ways you can use this. I keep some like die cut stickers up at the front and then I usually keep my budget stickers next and then all of my weekly and monthly kits. I also really like that it's easy to move these around however you want and usually what I do is I keep them in order so I can grab them right away and then I'll just move the pages around depending on you know if I need more sheets in the back or whatever it may be. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put this off to the side and show you guys the March kit. So we're going to start with the March budget kits. Um, you guys may see this and this kit, this kit may be familiar to you and that is because this was a mystery kit back in 2023. So here are the main kit colors. I just pulled a couple kits that I personally use in my budget but like I say in every single video that I do about new releases, there are three different sizes. What I'm showing you here it will fit in my 7x9 Humble Beginnings budget planner but the seven by nine kits will also work in the Erin Condren planners. And then we also have an eight and a half by 11 and also a petite slash a five option. So lots of different options. Um, so here is the basic theme for March. This is kit 178. So you're going to get like that minty green color along with the orange. Um, here are the four different colors. This is kind of like a tan color, which of course it's like super bright outside from all the snow that we've had lately. So you're not going to see it, but it is like a tan color. And then because I use the humble beginnings budget planner, I am using the washi that goes along with it, but there are still options for thick and thin if you want. So those are the budget kits. Again, we have like a budget kit, weekly check-in, transaction log, sinking fund. We have paycheck one through four. There are so many different options, but I just pulled what I had for myself. So I figured I'd show you guys that really quick. And then let's get in to all of the other kits. So like I mentioned, kit 178 is going to be that um, orange and minty color. I wanted to just really quickly show you guys my monthly view because I am using a um, different planner than usual. So here is what the monthly view typically would look like if you're purchasing for a seven by nine planner. I showed you guys before this option. This is more for the budget planners because it doesn't come along with like the extra stickers along the sides. But if you purchase a normal seven by nine um, planner and you need stickers for that, this is what your kit will look like. I'm using a different planner this year and I've absolutely been loving it. Um, and you guys, a couple of you have asked for the kits to go along with it. So I figured I'd show you guys when you order the kits that are designed for the always fully booked planner, this is what it's going to look like. Um, so it's going to be just the basic full page sticker look and you will add your own date dots um, and all of that. So it's just kind of like the shell. These fit perfectly in that planner. Um, and right now when you guys are watching this, <clears throat> The January and the February ones are already up in, in my shop. They're just under the weekly kit section. So if you want to put those in your cart, they're already there. I updated the listing photos so you would know what they are. Um, this one will also be released when the March kits get released on Friday at 9 a.m. But I just figured I'd show you guys that's kind of what it'll look like. So what I typically do is I like having these holidays. And so I pair the date dots and the holidays on here just because, again, these are two full sheets and there's no possible way to include extra stickers to be able to do it. So I just use those and those to make it my own. And I figured I would show you guys that really quickly so you can get an idea of what to expect in terms of that. 
Next, we're gonna show kit 178. So these are the stickers that I pull. Again, keep in mind, there are so many different options. We have Daily Duo, A5 Daily Duo, Compact Vertical, Hobonichi. There's so many different options. So if you love a kit, like let's say you're like, I'm obsessed with 178, search 178 in my shop and every single thing that's available for this kit and this design will pop up. So here are the two date covers that I pulled for myself. Again, it's really bright outside, so I don't think that you guys are getting a true sense of colors, but um, I have the brush stroke and the vertical just because I like to have some options. And then here is kit 178 for the sampler. You get this adorable panini, uh, not panini, panini, peony. <laughs> My goodness, peony. Um, and then you have some like little daisies and butterflies. I just love the mint with the orange. It's like my favorite. The full box has a little bunny with a carrot, which is cute. And then here are the full boxes. Um, I've been enjoying using more of like the patterned full boxes instead of just doing all clip art. So I've been mixing that in as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Here's the washi. I just love these daisies as well. Super cute. Functional stickers. Decorative. And then here we have the clip art as well as some other options for full boxes. Um, so super cute. I'm excited about this. I mentioned a couple times already in this video that I don't use a typical 7x9 planner. I'm not using an hourly or vertical. I'm using um, a planner that's probably closer in size to an A5 planner, but all of these stickers still work perfectly for me. And if you want to see how those work well, like how the functional stickers, the decorative stickers, the full boxes, all of that can work in non 7x9 planners, definitely check out my plan with me is because I do a really good job of showing you guys how to use different stickers, how they fit. Um, I love that I don't have to use special stickers to be able to use this planner. Okay, so that's 178. 179 is going to be the St. Patty's Day kit. So this one is super duper cute. Um, here are the vertical and the brush stroke date covers. And then here's a sampler. So you get some of the little four leaf clovers as well as cute little hearts and stars and rainbows. I feel like it's a really fun way to have like St. Patty's Day, but like not overly St. Patty's Day, if that makes sense. These are also really fun bright colors, which I feel like I'm going to need after this winter. So super cute. Here are the options for, for full boxes um, along with you know, kits, there's not always clip art available. And so when there's not clip art available, there's some modifications to the kits. So for example, these are all pattern boxes and then you'll see the clip art's a little different as well. Washi, super cute. Functional stickers, decorative stickers. And then instead of having a clip art sheet, we have a deco journaling sheet. So again, just some cool options for additional stickers if you are wanting to like, you know, jazz it up a little bit. Super cute. So that is 179. Then we're gonna get into 180, which is probably one of my all time favorite kits. I love the colors in this kit. And then of course there's books, which you guys seem to really love book related stickers. I love book related stickers. So here is kit 180. So it's like purples and greens, super duper cute. Here are the two options, um, the brush stroke date covers and the vertical. So, um, I don't know, you really can't see it well on the camera. I wish that it wasn't as bright outside because this is like a lighter purple and then a lighter pink with the purple and you can definitely see the scripts a little bit more in person, but I don't know if it's going to, there we go. You can see it a little bit better. Okay, so sampler sheet, you have books, book stacks with flowers, which are super cute. Um, because it's springtime, we have some rain boots with flowers, which I just love, and then some butterflies. Here are the full boxes. So again, just a combination of that spring feel with the flowers and butterflies. And then you also have the books, which are super fun. Washi is just more of the boots and the butterflies and flowers, and then books. 
functionals. I, I feel like this is a total springtime vibe with like the green, purple, and pink. Decorative stickers. And then here we have the clip art. So again, you get some different options in terms of um, the girls and then some cute butterflies and books and stuff. I'm super excited about this one. Okay, so that's 180. And then the very last kit is actually a Easter kit because this is a really strange time of year where we actually have St. Patty's Day and Easter in the same month. I think Easter is like earlier this year. Um, so here's kit 181. Very, very cute. So here are the date covers. Um, so you get some very different options. I feel like you have pink and then you have blues, which are kind of cool that you get some different options there. I'm obsessed with this Easter kit. How cute is this? So you get some bunnies and eggs. I love like the pastel look of this. Full box says Happy Easter with a cute little bunny. And then we have like greens and pinks and yellows and a little bit darker of the like, it's like a greenish bluish color, like more mint. Here are the full boxes. I love the carrots. Like, I don't know why, but I just love the carrots and then all the different options of the cute little eggs. Again, I love these. The carrots are super cute. I don't know how I'm gonna use the carrots, but I'm gonna have to use them somehow. And again, same thing with the vibes. I feel like it definitely feels very much like Easter with the blue, bluish green, the yellow, and the pink. Here are the decorative stickers. And then this one, again, because there's not much clip art, you get the deco journaling, which is gonna be a fun option. I love this little paint swatch with the little carrots. I just think it's super, super cute. So those are all of the kits. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see what they all look like. Again, it's going to be kit 178 through 181. They will be available on Friday morning at 9 a.m. Um, I have officially caught up on order since the holidays. We took a nice long break during the holidays because we had family and friends in town. And so we are back to normal processing time. A um, couple things with custom scripts, just keep in mind if you purchase custom scripts with like your new release order, those typically go out a little bit later than the others. We try and work at work on them as soon as they come in but if you have a lot of custom scripts as well as you know monthly release stickers your order is going to go out when we're able to like design print and cut those customs it hasn't been an issue lately i feel like we haven't gotten too bombarded with customs but just kind of keep that in mind that the customs can slightly delay your order so if you are wanting to pick up um, the like kits for March, I would suggest if you want to get them right away, purchase these separately and then make a separate order. The best time to always purchase custom scripts is probably when it's like not busy time. So not like the monthly release or the, um, mystery kit release, but I know sometimes you only place one order during the month. And so that's totally fine. I'm just saying if you're in a rush to get your order, adding customs to it is not going to like help increase the the amount of time that it takes to go out. It's not going to make it a faster process is what I'm trying to say. Second thing is, and I'll just start like packing up as I'm going because I need to put all these away. Um, the other thing is mystery kits are officially on a monthly basis now. So if you're wanting to purchase a mystery kit, definitely make sure you are checking all your social media to see when those are listed and available. They're gonna continue being available on the third Friday of the month. So these will be released on Friday and then the following Friday, we will have all of the mystery kits up because we're no longer doing the annual mystery subscription, we're basi basically going to cut them after we know final numbers. So there will no longer be extras available. Um, we're just trying to do that because right now, like for December, for example, we have way too many kits left over. And so we want to avoid having a situation like that. So if you want to pick up a mystery kit for any given month, I would recommend making sure you mark on your calendars. It's usually always the third Friday of the month, unless we post otherwise. We always post a 
um, calendar on Facebook and on Instagram. If you don't have Facebook or Instagram, you could always reach out to me on Etsy and I can verify the date that they will be available. Um, but like I said, because we're changing things up, because we are going to be cutting them after we know how many has sold, they're gonna go out a little bit later. So instead of normally if you purchased an individual mystery kit by itself, it would go out like that Monday after they're after they're up. Um, now they're probably gonna go out closer to Wednesday just because we're going to wait until Sunday night, run all the numbers, see how many we need in total, and then we will go ahead and cut them. Um, and again, same thing with if you're wanting to pick them up, there will be no leftovers. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to the information that I need to let you guys know. Um, and again, if you like this setup that I have here with my kits and how I store them, definitely check out the disc albums on Etsy. They work out really nicely for this purpose, just being able to like easily put them in and out. And I stock mine up when I am cutting all the stickers. So I make sure to grab mine so I have everything that I need and I don't have to like pull from stock because I feel like getting the inventory out of whack is never a good solution for me. So anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see everything um, and getting a little update from me on my end. But that is it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.